We're speeding towards 2025, and let's be honest, AI is already running the show in so many ways. But what's next? We asked AI to pull out its crystal ball and give us the inside scoop on what's coming down the pipeline. Essentially, we wanted to know the top artificial intelligence trends for 2025, and the answers we found were wild. From healthcare to entertainment and across other industries, here's what the future is going to look like. Before now, dozens of countries have had a one-size-fits-all approach to medicine and healthcare. AI says it's time for some tailored treatments. Think of custom health plans designed around your DNA like a tailor-made suit. Thanks to AI's brain power, doctors can predict health risks before you even sneeze. Here are some of the key predictions for the future of healthcare technology in 2025. Catch illnesses before they show up. AI-based early disease detection will become mainstream and change the landscape of future healthcare trends. Also, your Fitbit is about to get a significant upgrade. It won't just count steps, it'll save lives. Wearable health devices will provide real-time insights and design personalized interventions. And then we have robot surgeons. AI-powered robotic surgeries will increase in precision and availability, reshaping medical innovation. But how do the experts really feel about personalized medicine and AI in business? Let's hear from the top guys at Microsoft Research. First of all, is there a need for it? The answer is yes. Here's one of the numerous reasons we need personalized medicine with AI. Here, take a listen. Fewer than 40% of cancer patients today, there exists what we call targeted therapies that are therapies specific to changes in their cells. But what's even more shocking is of those 40%, less than 5% of patients even respond effectively to today's treatments. Clearly, there is a problem because we are not doing as well as we should. We need AI because there's a ton of data in human cells. To get a sense of the data scale, here's a snippet of what the Microsoft research team said just a couple of months ago. We can generate nearly 50 million individual data points from just the single tumor biopsy using our measurement and experimental techniques that we have in the lab today. With that in mind, we're pumped to tell you that the data nerds think precision medicine is the way to go. Switching gears to finance, what do we find? I recently made a video on how AI can make you a profitable stock trader. Gone are the days when you had to scroll through endless stock tips or pay hefty fees for financial advice. AI has got the best investment strategies on lock. In 2025, your bank account will probably have its own AI-powered financial advisor, available 24-7, no appointment necessary. The future of money management is about to get more innovative than ever, and here are some of the key predictions. AI financial advisors will become more common, replacing traditional advisory models in wealth management. Predictive analytics will help make correct financial forecasts and optimize investment decisions. You'll be getting the juiciest deals on even emerging markets as long as you play your cards right. Fraudsters better watch out because some next-gen scam detectors will also be rolling out. But do the experts think AI getting its nose in our money is a great idea? To a certain extent, I suppose. One expert from Wells Fargo has a slightly different take on how we should feel about AI showing up in the finance industry. For him, there's a vital aspect of the finance industry that AI will be able to assess – creditworthiness. I'm really excited about that opportunity where we are able to reach uh, more of the community um, with AI and leveraging other means, other data points about those uh, those folks to understand their credit worthiness. And improve access to credit. Here's why it makes sense. AI doesn't care about irrelevant stuff like where you're from or who you know. It's focused solely on the data, making it less likely to carry the biases that sometimes creep into human decision-making. It will be the best no-nonsense credit assessor. Traditionally, getting a credit score meant tedious paperwork, looking at your borrowing history and hoping some mysterious formula decided you're worth the risk. But now AI digs deeper, analyzing your credit history, spending habits, payment patterns, and even social media behavior. AI doesn't just rely on the obvious stuff, like whether you've paid off your student loans, it looks at the whole picture. People who might have been unfairly locked out of getting credit, like freelancers, gig workers, or folks with short credit histories will now have a better shot. Zooming over to the retail industry, a lot seems to be in the works. 
Ever feel like your favorite store knows you all too well? By 2025, that feeling is going to be more intense. AI is taking retail personalization to a new level, almost like it can read your mind. Here are some of the significant predictions moving forward. AI-powered chatbots may be more helpful than store employees at the checkout. Retailers will use AI for inventory management, ensuring efficient supply chain optimization. Also, augmented reality will let you try before you buy, all without leaving your couch. This will create new opportunities in e-commerce trends. Let me say this, these are not just empty promises. According to the Chief Digital Officer at Victorian Beckham Beauty, one of the most important pros of getting personalized AI solutions in retail is the scale you'll get to do it. The connection for me with personalization, I think, is its ability, for AI's ability to help us with scale, like true one-to-one -one personalization at a scale that we wouldn't have been able to do without these models. His prediction for AI in retail is that there will be some next-level hyper-personalization. To really start to have personalized messaging that anticipates customers' needs in our voice and really starting real conversations and relationships with customers at scale, like, it just seems so exciting and not far away, but I think we can see the road ahead of us because of what we've seen in other domains like in mm -hmm. Netflix. Switching focus to the education industry, it's a different ball game altogether. Remember that one teacher who made learning fun for you? Well, AI is about to be that teacher for everyone. In 2025, education will be as personal as it gets, with AI-powered learning platforms that know your strengths and weaknesses better than you do. Say goodbye to one-size-fits-all classrooms, and say hello to AI tutors who work around your schedule. Here are some of the key predictions. Virtual AI tutors will be like having a genius on speed dial, ready to help anytime, anywhere. Lifelong learning will be a breeze, with courses designed just for you. We asked Sal Khan, founder and CEO of Khan Academy, and he thinks that education is about to become a lot more fun with teaching assistants and personal tutors. But I think we're at the cusp of using AI for probably the biggest trans positive transformation that education has ever seen. And the way we're going to do that is by giving every student on the planet an artificially intelligent but amazing personal tutor. And we're going to give every teacher on the planet a, an amazing artificially intelligent teaching assistant. Sometimes we look at course material piling and wonder about everything we've got to read. With AI, you can get solutions to whatever you need on any topic that matters to you. It can answer the age-old question, why do I need to learn this? And it asks Socratically, well, what do you care about? And let's say the student says, I want to be a professional athlete. And it says, well, learning about the size of cells, which is what this video is about, that could be really useful for understanding nutrition and how your body works, etc. It can answer questions, it can quiz you, it can connect it to other ideas. You can now ask as many questions of a video as, as you could ever dream of. Up next is the entertainment industry. By 2025, AI won't just be behind the scenes, it'll be creating the scenes. Get ready for AI-generated content that's tailored to your exact taste. Streaming services will know what you want to watch before you do, and AI could even write the next blockbuster storyline. Your Netflix queue will be full of AI-generated movies and shows that find the sweet spot. Streaming platforms will use AI to predict trends and produce content that resonates with specific audiences, creating new dynamics in media consumption. Special effects will be so next level that even the most high-budget films won't need a green screen. So, there's probably no doubt that AI will hit these heights in 2025. Maybe what we've got to worry about here is how the top creators feel about this trend. Here's how Guillermo del Toro, Academy Award-winning director, feels about AI in the entertainment industry. AI has demonstrated that it can do semi-compelling uh, screensavers. That's essentially that. The value of art is not how much it costs and how little effort it requires is how much you, would you risk to be in its presence? How much would people pay for those screensavers? Are they gonna make them cry because they lost a son, a mother, because they misspent their youth? F no. It's safe to say that no matter what AI does in the entertainment space, Del Toro will not give a single hoot about it. But many more veterans are willing to embrace it. Let's now talk about the next big thing in AI and how it will influence our workspace. 
You must have heard the rumors that AI is coming for our jobs, but in reality, AI is coming to help you do your job better. By 2025, AI will handle all the boring stuff, like scheduling and data entry, so you can focus on the more essential tasks. Think of AI being like having an assistant who never takes a coffee break. These are the predictions for next year. AI-powered tools will handle tasks like data analysis, scheduling and customer service, creating workplace automation. New job titles like AI coordinator and automation specialist will be trending. AI will create new job opportunities in AI management and tech-driven creativity. The gig economy will continue its global upsurge. AI platforms will connect freelancers with clients faster than ever. The gig economy will expand as AI platforms connect freelancers with businesses globally, offering better opportunities. One leading voice on the AI hype train for jobs in 2025 is Nandan Nilakani, co-founder of Infosys. Infosys, by the way, became the fourth Indian company to achieve a market capitalization of a hundred billion dollars. Nandan is super excited about the opportunities for us with AI helping with work. Here's what he says. In reality, we are at the very early days of a global 10, 20 year uh, cycle of reinventing companies internally with AI technology. Mm. So while the productivity will go up, the new business that is going to come in enterprise AI transformation will more than make up for it. The future of AI in 2025 is bright and scary as well. With AI transforming every aspect of our lives, there's much to look forward to. Whether it's helping you shop, invest or get healthier, AI will be at the center of it all. As we look ahead to 2025, the question isn't whether AI will change the world, it's how quickly it'll happen. And boy, is it getting closer every day. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you loved this video. Until next time, stay AI inspired.